welcome to Jimodism Total Nerdy Channel. We are here once again for ship reviews. Indeed, indeed. Ship reviews. This is MC Liberator by Muffin Man, which uh, who sent us a few ships that we will take a little look at. And we are beginning to take out uh, to take out to take on a little look at the uh, Liberator, which uh, is listed as a combat supply ship. So basically, the kind of ship that would uh, supply battleship units with supplies in battle situations. I don't think this is an entrance. I think this this is a cannon, very unsafe, but it looks cool. And uh, like first, uh, just off the bat, I think this is a very unique ship design. Um, it looks extremely modular, like like basically you had some kind of main module and you made three of them, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, pretty futuristic. What's interesting with this shape, uh, it's because it's modular, it also looks uh, quite customizable, even though that may not be the case, um, but it has that sort of look, and it's in no way anywhere near to, uh, to aerodynamic, which is interesting to see in a spaceship, because it makes sense. Unless that spaceship is supposed to go on surfaces as well, of course, then it wouldn't be a good idea. But uh, it really looks like a deep space ship that would only uh, visit space. In any case, this modular design uh, looks, I think it looks really interesting. It reminds me of space stations, like the real deal. And. Uh, one thing that's really well made is the texturing of, on, on the armor plates here. We really have the shapes come into each other and it really looks natural in an interesting way. It's kind of an organic at the same time. It's uh, very standardized and uh, yeah, pretty modular basically, which is an interesting combo. Alright, so we'll check out what's inside of this ship. Yeah, alright, so I can find one USD from examining the exteriors. So we'll be entering through the uh, USD, which is a pretty standard USD right to the right, as it's supposed to be, correctly made. And uh, well, we have a manual setup, which is, you know, I use that often too. Let's get into gravity to get some realistic. Um, and well, we have a, a star here, an actual star, which is fun. Um, it's pretty harsh, uh, hard shapes in here. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be, while I kind of suspect it's supposed to be something. Uh, here we definitely have some kind of cargo uh, holding thing. Let me just uh, grab a flashlight. Doesn't help me much though. <laughs> In any case, it looks like a navigating type of thing. And uh, well, we have uh, unload rails. Oh well. Um, I doubt that's a functional thing, but I may be wrong and will notice that later in that case. Just <laughs> interesting game glitch. It has to be a... oh yeah, okay, it's a door here. Oh yeah, it's probably the elevator. Let's check that out a little bit later. We'll check out this floor first. I haven't really explored this ship. Oh, well, that's an interesting access, access tube somehow. This is maybe some storage in some way. Um, well, it's not labeled, so we don't know where we're heading. 
but uh, yeah, that's probably one thing. Uh, I, I mean, by the way, the interior is very nice. I like this tunnel because it's feel it feels very industrial and it's very hard in a very hard industrial, uh, like sharp type of design. Ooh, yeah, that's some that's some good floors too. Uh, it's nice to have uh, tubings in the floor like this. It makes it uh, it adds to the industrial feeling of it. Well, in any case, what I was going to say was that something that this uh, ship could benefit from is probably hold this place. Just discrete markings uh, to tell you where you're going. But here we have more of that industrial design, and this is a very well-made corridor. Okay, and uh, creeping into here, we get into one of the commanding sections, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, lords. Oh. It's possible this is a... Yeah, this is, this is some kind of uh, escape unit. So I suspect we can undock this. Or perhaps... I'm not sure what this wireless is doing. In any case... Oh no! Wait, what? Oh. No, I might. Oh no, I'm out of gravity. Okay, I go with that one's gravity. <laughs> it's good enough. And here we have another one of those. What's that? Some really dark corners here, which is nice. Who doesn't love a few dark corners? Top floor, passenger's cabin. Oh wow. Warp drive control room. So we have some elevators there. And there we have more probably escape modules. I need gravity. Warp drive control room. Let's check that out. What is this? Oh lords, I shouldn't stand there. Oh! We magically got there. Fusion, rise, stable. Right. We have some tubing here. We have an elevator. Display. And here we have a server room with some access panels, which is nice. And here we do have... this is the warp drives then. Okay, so Muffin Man made this kind of coil-liking things, coil-looking things. And well, the coils look pretty cool. Like those. I don't think you're supposed to be back here. Oh, well. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, we should probably... Let's see here. If we can just uh, align to that. And we will go up again. To where we came from. Uh, let's check out the next one here. Just give me one sec, and we should. There we have it. Just enter some gravity there. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're in there. Okay. Down. Okay, so we have... Uh, we have... Uh, some indicators here. So if I press down, it won't do anything cool. Current. And if I click this one. Oh, that's fast. It's just. That's confusing. Lower fur. Current. Uh, okay. 
mid floor, cafeteria left, medical clinic right. Oh shit, I can go higher. Top floor. Okay, let's begin at top floor. Can I click again? No, good. <laughs> now I know where I am. I'm easy to confuse. Uh, okay, so we have some... Uh, is this... Oh god. This is a training machine. This is a running band, isn't it? It's probably a running band. It really looks like it. It is a running band. Here we have a shower. And ooh, this is an interesting sink there. Yep. Well... It's nice, some time has been spent designing a bathroom, we like that. Here we have a shelves, uh, I don't know, gambling info screen area. And a little ventilation to outer space. Great, to suck that pride out of you. In any case, oh god, sleep mood. What does that mean? Is it is is it is it a CRTV a, a shock TV? Is this a shock TV? It looks like a shock TV, you know, fat television, as we say in Swedish for the uh, cathode ray televisions. In any case, uh, let's continue here. We have a lot of areas here. What's that button? I don't know. Uh, nothing tells me anything. That's that's an interesting. Oh god, that's the elevator. Never mind. Uh, okay, so here we have kind of crew quarters all along, which is nice. Um, they look like they're pretty standardized, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the usual jam. But we gotta check, gotta check, gotta check. Wash machine, buddy. Select your unit. Unit 1, unit 2. Whoops, not shields. This looks like... <laughs> this was co completely unintentional. But <laughs> uh, the thought just hit me. <laughs> this looks more like a washing machine. <laughs> because... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, that's a creepy laugh. I thought like Joffrey. <laughs> Never mind. Let's let's continue. Um, yeah, so that's that's the top quarter now i might do weird sounds on this video because all the people already left right in any case let's go to mid floor not current floor which is medical clinic right wait no okay medical clinic right left left this is cafeteria sleep mood Everything is sleep mood. Oh, so here we can see the inside of the... Oops. Damn it. Okay, let's just have this flashlight on now. We need it. Uh, okay, so here we have a cafeteria with... Uh, Tyco food dispenser. Oh, and one other thing that I would love to see is that... Well, you can do some formatting and have different colors. Uh, for for the displays and it doesn't have to be that fancy but just another color or another you know a little bit of customization really adds to the complete like, completeness of it all okay this is the med I'm I'm I, I'm now not lost anymore this is a uh, kind of sick bed room and we have uh, kind of uh, emergency ward, I suppose. Warning, shake connection, new patient. Warning. Okay, so everyone is dead here. I mean, no one is hanging out here. Oh well, it's a pretty, uh, you can really notice it's a pretty military kind of uh, interior. Mm -hmm. Let's go down to main corridor. Okay, we didn't go in this corridor before, so we're gonna do go into this corridor. What's this? Darkness. Uh, but interior design-wise, I have to say I like this corridor the most uh, at this moment. It's really well made, it really looks industrial. And we have a lot of interesting smaller areas to design like this. 
I don't... Okay. Oh, we have stars. Okay, I, I didn't expect that. Wait, am I? Where am I? Oh, so here we have more bunks. Alright. And washing machines. So it's a crew floor you kind of access from here. Which is interesting. What is this then? Oh, this is like public hall, I mean crew bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Guess it would destroy the uh, the uh, exploration part, but uh, it could be beneficial with a few indicators of where one is. Right, so we can also go down here to find another call room some machining oh yeah it's coils shield condition all right oh. we can get up that's good all right so here what do we have Oh, that's that one. Okay, we're gonna check that out. Uh, I'm not lost. And oh, we're uh, never mind. We had a sign there, Engineering Bay. Did I miss all the previous signs? I don't know. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so here we have up, down, but no labels there, so we don't know where to. This is the entrance area, though, and here is an... Okay, there is a lot of elevators here, I am confused. Let's just push this bottom. And now we go down. Oh, and here we have... Cargo... Thing. And this is then a... Okay, so here we have a little uh, supply ship or something on that note. Oh, here's the door. It's a cute ship though. I kind of like it. It also has usable seats, which is a very much a plus for a transport craft. So this is a transport vehicle and all the seats are sitable, which is a huge plus. Okay, storm it crashed. Business as usual. Be back in a while. All right, we are back again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> crashes is uh, not something we are unfamiliar to. But anyways, that was a little area of. Uh, what's this then? And here we have something that probably looks like... Oh. No. Looks like drones or storage or something? No. It's possible they're actual launchable stuff, but we'll notice that later if that's the case. We shall see. In any case, now we need to hit that button. And... Uh, go up again. Because that was... Uh, oh god. Why? Okay. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> Stormade, work with me! Come on. Oh yes. Oh yes. Don't, don't, don't leave me behind. Good. Okay, so that's that little part. Uh, it's definitely a labyrinth, especially for me. 
Oh, and there we had... Okay. So let's check that uh, other little small elevator. The four. That is forgotten. Okay, where do we go? Interesting. And the answer is, I don't know. Maybe this is the actual cargo bay, which is my only guess right now. Looks cool. I like this dark orange red wrap lightning. It's very cozy. Very cozy. What? Didn't I? Wait, no? Okay. Now, now I'm confused. Was it more? Did I check it that carefully? No, it's just the same kind of balls. So it's uh, probably a little uh, area of uh, stuff. Yes. Alright, so let's go to that other elevator. Was it this direction? Yep, it was. Let's go down. Can we go more down? If I spam it? No. Okay, so here we have reactor consumption. So here we basically have some info, and this is probably a reactor or something. Kind of tubings. A little hard to tell, but uh, it's a little maintenance area. And we then go to the floor we came from, and we go more up. Yeah, the tubing, the floors with the tubings is nice. And this is the maximum amount of up we can go. Okay. This is probably for the elevator ended. It? It's pretty dark though. Let's just... Uh... Oh, was it on? I don't know. No. <laughs> Flashlight is very unreliable. Okay, so we can go this way. Ooh, and this is a pretty cool... Ooh, seal all hatches. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I love this. I love this button. The seal all hatches button is really cool. It's uh, really a role play. A lot of people forget the seal all hatches button. But it's a necessary button on all role ship, role play ships and I am guilty of forgetting the seal all doors or seal all uh, hatches button i am guilty too but it's a necessary button and i love it's there all right so here we have some good view this is actually on top well we went up pretty many times but you rarely see out from this ship so it's pretty labyrinth like uh, and this is some kind of uh, space disk uh, map or something. Power consumption and some stats there. Well, it's a pretty nice bridge like that. Pretty basic, but works pretty well too. Now, I have no idea. Okay, so that's a, that's a staircase, yeah. So we have to jump. Come on. Yes. Up there and we can staircase our way there and ooh this is how we get into the top area very military type of uh, entering now I don't know if I'm totally uh, failed here but where's the core it's my core Oh, there it is. Cool. Yeah, so that's inside the ship. And we can see what type of uh, buttons we have. 
Let's see if we have some cameras, docking cameras. Oh. I mean, you can save other views that's better to look with, but none of the default views are very friendly to uh, use. I can't see. Okay. Let me guess. No. That's supposed to work. Okay, then I don't see it properly. Thrust glow should work. Yeah, we can see it faintly now. Nice. And we're just gonna do the the usual little quick check to see that we actually have seen the interiors of this ship. Which is hard because it's really so much interiors. Yeah, I think a, a good deal has been uh, fitted inside this little ship. Um, yeah. You can totally understand that you are inside these kind of scaffold armored scaffoldings when walking these tunnels. The the front of this ship is especially impressive. Oh god, this is an empty space. Interesting. It's empty spots. Oh. And well, the front of this ship is really nice. These tubings and stuff like that, it's real nice. Uh in any how now we check that out. We'll now turn back HUD and see what type of systems we have. We have a scanner and we have a. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. There we go. We have a charge up cannon, which is this little thing there. Which is nice. So it has some defenses. We also have a, a jump drive that we can charge two times. But when we do that, uh, we lose power for the gun. Uh, but um, it's made uh, in 2018, so it hasn't received a not updated power management for the latest updates, I suppose. Uh, not much else uh, for systems that wise. Uh, I suppose that these ships are supposed to be launchable probably with the wireless button, but maybe the connection broke. In any case, We have this Gatling looking little AMS turret, which contains 8 blocks, so it's a very weak AMS, but it has a lot of output, so good for clearing out smaller entities. Then we have this little turret, which is an 11 beam damage beam, and it has more than, it has a lot of movement, so it's... Uh, this turret will, uh, of course, have the risk of uh, getting upside down, but it will work very good. What's this now? And here we have a 10 block cannon turret. So like long range cannon turret with two barrels. Yeah, it looks nice. Everything has this kind of squarey, bulky, industrial design, yeah? And... No, let's see here. Uh, this looked like some... Uh, where was it? Downside? Yeah, this looks like something that's supposed to be kind of openable. 
It's not though, but it still looks very cool. Yeah, these little machine parts here look really nice. That ship really has that aesthetic. I'm now trying to find the outward bound openings that I saw before. Whoops. This also looks like some kind of opening, but actually it's not. It's just a thing. Oh, there we have it. Okay, so there we can open that one. Now I wonder though, there was one more opening. Is it here? But these are part, okay. So these are not launchable. Okay, good to know. Uh, so the ship has very light defenses, a small array of uh, weaker AMS turrets. They would have been strong uh, before, but and then we have some beam turrets and some cannon turrets. It is a combat supply ship though, so it's not supposed to be very uh, combat heavy, of course. So oh, uh, these uh, orange tubes are very nicely made. I gotta implement something like that on some future ship, you know, these holdings for the tubes. I haven't really done so much tubing, but that looks really good, those tubes there. It's really nice. Right. Activation module. I don't know what that does. In any case, let's fly out of there. There's a little maintenance ship there. <laughs> I don't know what this activation module... Oh, it's just an actor. Okay, never mind. Yeah. It's a nice little view, though, from this ship. And um, all in all, I think it's an interesting ship. Uh, of course, it has limited usability uh, because this ship is a combat supply ship, but it does not provide a uh, astro beam, which could, if connected up to storage, actually repair ships. Um, I believe. I don't. Rem I, do I can't remember now if this is uh, supposed to be a future feature. Or if it's already a thing that the also astro, astro beam replaces kind of any block, but uh, I think that could be beneficial. In any case, nice ship, and uh, well, you can check it out with the links in the description if you find that you need to check this uh, ship up a little, uh, check this ship out a little closer. And uh, well, in any case, oh no, no, oh well, it's really annoying how tall you fall, it's really crazy. In any case, uh, as I was trying to say, uh, I hope you will check out uh, this ship if you, if you did like it and definitely stay tuned for future videos because we'll make more map reviews of course um, we have two other ships from muffin man that we will take the time to look at sometime uh, but until then i will just say thanks a lot for watching this is jimadism total nerdery channel signing out <laughs>